Good morning guys, Aspen here. I'm out hiking again. It's finally an okay day. Today is... Uh, uh, today I'm gonna test my Sony CV-1 with the Ulanzi wide-angle lens. I'm now shooting on the GoPro Hero 10 in 4K. Extended battery mode. Works really good, all natural. So we're gonna find a spot to attach the Ulanzi wide-angle lens. I hope it not start to rain, but uh, we're gonna find a place to attach it and see how it works. Maybe we can do a side-by-side -side test with the Hero 10. Of course, the Hero 10 is gonna win in the stabilization test, but always fun to see how wide this only gets with the the Ulanzi wide angle lens because as we all know the, the focal length is too cropped in especially when you're using active stabilization <sighs> yeah so we're gonna find a place I'm not gonna do any unboxing it's been millions of them but uh, we're gonna attach it and maybe it's possible to fly a little bit today I'm not sure it's pretty overcast, so we will see. But we're gonna find a spot to attach the Sony CV-1 Ulanzi wide-angle lens. Looks pretty good, what I see on YouTube so far, so hopefully it's not too cold to attach the lens. Maybe I have to wait a little bit before I attach the whole system to the Sony CV-1, but we will see. So we're gonna find a spot. Let's do that. See you guys if we can attach this. That looks good. That's Keep some pressure on it. Let's turn the candle off. It doesn't build much at all without the lens attached, so that looks pretty good. It's extremely cold out now, so I'm just gonna wait a minute or ten before I attach the lens. Just look, make sure that this is You get some extra spare. Yeah, you can see that's good. Look at this. You got some spares, four of them, so that's excellent. And this was really cheap. Uh, I think I bought it for uh, 30 US dollars. That's about under 300 Norwegian krona, so that's extremely inexpensive. 
to make the camera much much better yeah let's look at the lens this is a wide angle lens and a macro lens so that's excellent you can use it for macro shooting get really close up to things and this is lens cover looks like uh, high quality yeah looks really good really heavy so I think it's uh, smart to take out the turn on the camera before you attach the lens so it does, doesn't strain on the model on the camera let's pack that down I'm out uh, uh, today hiking in the forest and I just wanted to test uh, this one as you can see the Ulanzi Double Twi L1 uh, wide angle lens and macro lens for the Sony CV1. Uh, I haven't attached that yet, so you can see the difference. I'm sitting now, I don't have any stabilization on, just standard. Of course, it's on a tripod, but we're gonna see how wide it's getting. So you have some reference point behind me, so you can see. Uh, I'm not gonna do any unboxing and stuff like that, that's just boring to watch. But uh, I just want to test the lens. I attach uh, the adapter to the Sony CV1 Auto. It's pretty cold today and uh, it seems that it can be rain pretty soon, but hopefully not. This Sony CV1 is not waterproof, but uh, let's test the lens and see how it looks. This is exciting. Hopefully this works. Let's screw this thing off. It's really heavy. Actually, it's like that. And take off this cover. And let's see how this looks. So you're gonna be the first to see. Let's see. Okay guys, now we can see with the Ulanzi lens width it seems much wider uh, hopefully it looks good and it's not any wobbling or anything uh, disturbance and you can still have that bokeh effect uh, seems really good it does yeah pretty cool let's turn on uh, active tape and see how that looks Okay guys, now you can see with the active stable on, I'm sitting on a tripod, uh, you can see it crops in pretty much, but uh, what if I turn off, turn off this lens and we can see how much more it crops, you have some reference point behind me. We're also going to test it for vlogging of course, with the active stable, so let's see how that looks. Let's screw it on, off. Okay guys, now the lens is off. Is there a ma massive difference? I can see it is. It's a massive difference. Uh, you can see it with the reference behind me. Uh, it's still on a tripod with active tab on. I'm gonna walk a little bit around here so you can see how that looks. So let's do that first without the lens and then with the lens. This is exciting. I bet you watch hundreds of reviews, but always fun to test stuff like this. And is it usable? So let's walk up. We still have active tab on. So let's take the camera up. Let's see. Just gonna I hate this tripod, but okay, this is with active tab and I'm walking around. Uh, so uh, let's see how this looks. I love the focusing on this camera and the indoor mic uh, uh, is pretty good. So we're just walking around. I'm gonna attach the lens pretty soon. 
so we can see it's wet as hell out so but how, how does it look it's too cropped in in my opinion like this so that's why you need a wide angle lens for this camera especially if we're going to use it for vlogging it's too tight and you have to hold your arms pretty far out i know you can get some other tripods that are uh, more extendable you can say but let's attach the wide angle lens and see how that looks okay guys as you can see it's a massive difference it looks way better uh, i'm not filling up the whole screen and it looks much more nicer you can see more behind me uh, but uh, is this affecting the stabilization that's important too so let's uh, see if it's a lot of wobbling and stuff like that just walking normal with my hand extended of course this is not it's, it's an ex extremely good camera it's not a perfect vlogging camera i think that for outdoor people that are hiking a lot i think it's better to use action camera but is this usable and do the stabilization work i'm shooting in all natural uh, with uh, just the auto setting how is the camera exposing to my face and can you see any difference in the colors let's take off this lens so you can see the difference okay so you can see it crops in a lot more uh, this is too cropped in for me but um, I love the colors on the Sony CV1 <laughs> and the focus is just excellent but this isn't usable in my opinion for blogging it's too tight it really is so let's turn on the wide angle lens again like that looks way better but does it affect the focusing I don't think so doesn't seems like it does but uh, does it look any good who are the inboard mic on this camera so uh, yeah it looks way better I can see that and the tracking and the face tracking and the eye tracking works normal that's good so uh, this was just a short test with the Ulanzi double three double three L1 wide angle lens and a macro lens it feels pretty heavy it is I don't think it's strange the models on the Sony CV1 but I highly recommend uh, screwing on the lens when the, the lens is all the way out and the camera is turned on so we don't zoom in and out with this but let's walk a little bit faster so you can see can you see I know it's focusing a little bit behind me sometimes but looks good looks way better than without the wide angle lens and the tracking and focusing on my face seems to work pretty good that's good I like this yeah this is workable so the only thing I need now is a new tripod. I'm using the Joby Gorilla 5K. It's too heavy for this camera. So I really need another tripod. So Yulansi or somebody else out there, why don't send me something that would be nice so I can test it and review it and yeah. Looks good. I'm happy. Hope you like it. Yeah, just uh, tested the Yulansi wide angle lens for the Sony CV1 looks way better I can't wait to see the result and of course I was hoping to do a side by side test with this camera of course the GoPro Hero 10 is way better in stabilizing the footage but um, it seems to be raining pretty soon and as we all know you can't use the Sony CV1 when it's raining I don't want to ruin the camera but I'm gonna put some footage side by side now so you can just see I'm walking in more or less the same area but of course I think this is in linear mode on the GoPro Hero 10 and the Sony CV1 is I think it's 24 millimeter with active stab on more or less maybe 20 I'm not quite sure I'm not an expert on that but you can see the footage side by side now 
uh, I was planning of course to do a walking test to see how the stabilization is and all that but you can't do anything about the weather that's the way it is and I also was hoping to fly but it seems to rain a little bit it goes on and it goes off yeah that's the way it is in Norway especially this time it's fall in Norway autumn and we had several days with rain so I think I'm gonna hike back I keep forgetting things when I'm out so I just have to check that I haven't uh, put every, anything on the table here no good yeah so let's uh, go another place uh, seems to be a little bit blue sky over here hopefully the weather will be get better so maybe I can fly a little bit I'm not gonna destroy my DJI Mini 2 but let's go another place it's wet as hell out so uh, yeah I really hope you enjoy the comparison uh, not the comparison but uh, the footage with the Sony CV1 uh, I really love that camera I need to learn it I'm not that much of a technical guy but I like to test gear so hopefully somebody can send me something one day so I can review it and test it support the small channel why not so uh, that's my hope but uh, yeah they only send stuff to the bigger channels so uh, that's the way it is maybe one day so guys I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.